Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials, my name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to design this retro, yet another retro text effect in Gravity Designer that can retain that property no matter what font you are going to apply to it. Ok, so let's start with a new document, Alt N or Option N on your Mac, I'm gonna size my canvas with the website normal, 1280 to 8, 800 pixels. 1280 to 800 pixels, click um, on this icon to create a new document and now I'm gonna grab the text tool, type, type your design, I just walk in with the retro with all capitals and head over to appearance panel to choose my font, uh, in the font uh, dialog fields, I'm working with the web fonts, I need to find the Oswald, so find the Oswald I was looking for something like Bebas, so the Oswald is uh, for me uh, very similar to Bebas. You can share your opinions in the comments form below. Okay, so uh, anyway, uh, Oswald Media, let's go to Media uh, and 440. So the sizing auto, everything should be set to auto. Set the sizing to auto here and here. Ok, uh, now we need to go to the field and create a new field, click on this uh, plus button to add a new field, head over to color picker and in the hexadecimal value type FF9090, click enter to apply the changes, so this uh, gives us this reddish color. Now let's create a border, a border with 12 uh, points uh, of the uh, weight. First of all, and uh, head over to this advanced stroke settings um, and go to the position, change the position to outside to spread the um, stroke to outside. Then uh, click bring up the color picker again and let's go work with the border color FFE4E4. Click enter to apply the changes. Now we have this very pale border color. Ok, now we are going to focus on the, on the bottom of our uh, right uh, panel, uh, it's called inspector panel and we are working with the effect, so head over to the effect more and then shadow from this drop down and long shadow to apply the long shadow effect. This shadow is wrong, everything is wrong, so let's start uh, adjusting the properties, uh, tear the um, fade down, then go to opacity and apply 100% of opacity, then go to the angle and uh, our angles should be quite opposite, negative 35 degrees, negative 35 degrees, and the lens, uh, decrease the lens to about 20 points, so 20 points of my lens. So far so good, uh, the last uh, thing that we need to change is the color, so go bring up the color pickle of this effect and go to the hexadecimal field again, let's start with this color, uh, so for our color AB, 3C, 3C, click enter to apply the changes, we have right now the nice extrusion of this brownish color and we are ready to go and apply another effect, so go again to the more, uh, but this time drop shadow, so we can start uh, from here. Gravity developers assume that you will be using this effect more often than uh, the others, so they kind of like uh, present them here, so go to the drop shadow, and without drop shadow options, first uh, tear down the blur, so uh, put it to zero. Then let's go to the X value and with the, our X value set it to negative 20x, click enter to apply the changes. Uh, let's uh, work with our Y value and Y value should be 25, click enter to apply the changes. Now we have seen that something is going um, on here and we need to first decrease the opacity to 40, 
40 percent click ok to apply the changes okay so far so good let's uh, go and proceed further to this effect by applying the another long shadow so again go to the effect more shadow long shadow we are going to work again with the angle of negative 135 degrees negative 135 degrees click and uh, this time we need to apply the extrusion that um, our lens of our our lens of the long shadow effect should be 18 and head over to the density 100% opacity 100% 100% uh, opaque uh, then go to the fade and decrease the fade go to the color and set the same color a b 3 c 3 c so a b 3 c 3 c click and to apply the change so we have a very a two very similar effects but right now we need to arrange them properly first uh since first guys head over to the drop shadow and advertise that your cursor is changed to this kind of like hand this means that you are ready to grab the drop shadow effect and place it below the long shadow effect or you can place this long shadow effect above right above the drop shadow this is how you rearrange effect notice that right now right now uh, your drop shadow is not casting like shadow the long shadow effect let's go further and head over to the long shadow this on the bottom with the 18 percent of lens and uh, head over to this bullet apply to element and apply to border wow and it's completely changed the effect this is how it works in gravity designer guys this is how you can create this awesome extrusion but let's go further and further we need to uh, add some or vintage wipes to this effect by applying the texture uh, how to do this let me show you let's go to the more then uh, i believe adjust and then noise so let's apply the noise you see right now it doesn't look quite well because uh, first of all the amount of noise this is too much uh, we need to work with O.2 click enter and uh, of course we need to apply it to the field so again go to this put near the rash icon and uh, from drop down menu choose the field apply to the field right now it's uh, looks very very nice and very solid so let's create the shared style go to the appearance panel from this drop down style no shared style create new shared style don't forget to uh, make don't uh, make sure that your text is selected go to the new style type retro click create tada you have the new shared style let's check how it works let's apply uh to it to something i don't know you can apply to lettering you can apply to any kind of form but i'm interested okay let's go to the this is a default font the default font is the open sans in uh, graphic designer let's go to the then uh, to shared style let's apply the retro this is how it looks on our text don't forget that it's also changed the typeface itself so now it's all solved medium okay so far so good let's design the background uh, there and i will show you another wonderful scene of gravity designer i am ready to work so let's lock this layer by clicking on this padlock on the layers panel and go to the uh, shapes so let's grab the rectangle or click r on your uh, keyboard so uh, this rectangle should be some kind of bluish uh, like this okay and uh, now let's holding alt and shift to keep uh, the strain uh, line um, 
duplicate this rectangle and now you can duplicate this action over and over again across all of your cameras so ctrl d command d to make the duplication of your action you see how it works uh, awesome now let's select everything by clicking on ctrl a uh, we lock the text so uh, when you're using the ctrl a it wouldn't be selected and now let's adjust it to the size of our canvas and uh, let's select every even stripe here i'm gonna make it more dark darker okay let's bring up our text and uh, put it on the top by using ctrl shift top arrow you can do it on the ctrl shift top arrow Again guys, you can apply the noise texture to some of the backgrounds, but this is how you can create the retro text effect in Gravity Designer. Don't forget to give a like to this video if you enjoy it, share it with your friends and colleagues and as always join Gravity Designer tutorials group, join Gravity Designer users group, go to tutorials.net to see more Gravity Designer and Adobe Illustrator tutorials. Thank you for watching, enjoy your day!